Hey noobs, Mr. Frog here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Seven Girls War, a new HRPG adventure game published by Kagura Games. Now, like with many of Kagura Games' other works on Steam, the game will be censored by default. This can not only remove the H scenes, but also critical gameplay features as well. You can download the 18 plus patch from the Kagura Games website with the link found in the video details below. Now, with that out of the way, Seven Girls War opens with a short exposition scene which explains how long ago humans and gods used to coexist together. However, a forbidden love between a god and a human spurred the wrath of the gods, who wanted to destroy humanity in revenge. One goddess, though, gave her life to create seven gates to split the world of god and humans into two. Peace thus filled the land for many eons, until one day, the gates began to suddenly open again. Strange events begin to happen across the land, leading us to the game's main character, Roland, where in his town, an earthquake causes all of the town's inhabitants but him to disappear. Left alone, Roland hears a statue in the church call out to him, and tells him to retrieve an orb in the ruins above town. Roland goes to retrieve the orb, and brings it to the statue, releasing a beautiful blonde goddess named Sarah. Upon her release, Sarah will explain to Roland the existence of the Seven Gates, and how they must be stopped from opening, or else the towns across the world will suffer the same fate as Roland's. Thus you begin your quest to travel with Sarah, and not only stop the Seven Gates from opening, but also figure out who is behind it and why. It's a rather simple and standard plot overall, but it does have a decent amount of interesting and fun moments. Along your journey, you'll have the opportunity to recruit several other women as well, all with their own unique age scenes. Now first, before we get anything else, there is one major critique of the game I must bring up because it not only could be a major deal breaker for many people, but it also affects virtually every aspect of the game. Seven Girls War is a very open and obtuse game. At almost every point in the game, from start to finish, you are given barely any zero direction of what to do or where to go at all. So much so that the game comes pre-installed with a walkthrough guide already in its data files. If you are going to play this game, I highly recommend that you open this file and play along with it, because if you don't, you will more than likely be aimlessly wandering around trying to figure out what to do for hours. As long as you can get past this major flaw in the game, it is honestly a very enjoyable and fun game. Many of the cutscenes are funny, entertaining, and actually a joy to read through. The game definitely has a slow start, but once it gets going, I found myself having a lot of fun with it. As far as the combat in Seven Girls War goes, it's your typical HRPG affair, with turn-based battles using magic, attacks, spells, items. The game does have an auto-battle function as well, but as a word of caution, while the game isn't exceedingly hard by any means, it definitely isn't a casual face roll HRPG either, so the auto battle function will usually just result in you dying if used. Another unique feature about the combat is that if enemies are approached from behind, you can instant win a battle to instantly obtain the golden XP. This feature can be a bit tricky to pull off, but with a little bit of practice and the use of one of the characters that slows enemies, you can do some quick and easy grinding. And on that note, this game does feature moderate amounts of grinding, not necessarily for XP, but for the gold. This is due to probably one of the more interesting and well done aspects of the game though. Within the game is a city builder mini game. At some point, Roland discovers that the town's craftsman was spared from the rapture of the gates by being out of town at the time. The craftsman returns to the town to find Roland, where they reunite and decide to build up the town so that it will be ready and improved for everyone when they return. Roland can then start to pay gold in exchange for building a variety of buildings across the town. These buildings can range from just different houses for the girls he recruits, to an apothecary, an inn, and most interestingly, even a giant casino where, yes, you can gamble. I was very impressed by this aspect of the game and definitely found it to be the most fun and rewarding part. Now, of course, on to the real content of the game. The H content. The H content in Seven Girls War, as with everything else in the game, can be a bit difficult to figure out how to unlock. If you follow along with the guide though, you should have no problem at all unlocking scene after scene with the girls. I found most of the scenes to be pretty well done overall, with a decent bit of variety to appeal to different interests. The game features a little bit of something for everyone of every taste with decent enough CGs. As long as you can look past the obtuse nature of the game, and don't mind following along with a guide to play, Seven Girls War is a decently fun and enjoyable HRPG game. I was a bit turned off by it at first, but in the end, the game does earn my recommendation with a very strong warning attached to it, as a game only being playable with a guide is a pretty big flaw. 
With that being said, this game does however earn the very elusive Mr. Frog Mountain Dew Sip of Approval, with a warning. Once again, thank you to everyone for all the support, and if you'd like to see more H game content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to check out the Mr. Frog stream over on Twitch. Later, noobs.